So when you get a new smartphone, the first thing you do is transfer data from your old device to the new one. But the most challenging task is transferring your WhatsApp data, especially when cross-platform transfer is concerned. So in that regard, a software called i2lab What's Go can come to your rescue. It's an amazing software for your needs and it's supported by the latest smartphone OS like iOS 16 and Android 13. So why is it so special? Let me tell you. First of all, uh, here is a comparison in between what's go move to iOS and Samsung Smart Switch. As you can see, the transfer of uh, data is much faster with what's go because your WhatsApp data will be as high as 1.5 gigabyte and it's going to take much longer time with your inbuilt softwares. The second thing is success rate, which is the most important part because when you are moving data using Samsung smart switch, the success rate is around 30% for move to iOS. It's about 50%, but with let's go WhatsApp transfer, it's as high as 90%. So it's faster as well as efficient. You can move more than 20 types of data using this software, no matter you are doing same or cross platform transfer. Now here comes the biggest advantage using what's go WhatsApp transfer. This software does not require you to factory reset your iPhones. So you can keep your old stuff and uh, here is a list of uh, types of data that can be transferred in the same or cross platform. Let me show you in details. It includes every kind of media that you can send through WhatsApp and there is the list for WhatsApp business. So you won't lose your client's information. You can also take a backup of the WhatsApp data into your computer. So no need to pay extra for iCloud storage or Google Drive. You can uh, take a backup into your PC and use it later on. You can of course restore WhatsApp backup into the same or different smartphone which can be in the same or different platform. And you can also restore from your iTunes WhatsApp backups. So how to use the software? Well, let me give you a demo. To be honest, anybody can use this software. You don't need any kind of technical knowledge, just your smartphones and data cables to connect to your computer. So once they are connected, this is the user interface. The download link of Let's Go is in the description of this video. So check it out. You get three options to transfer, to backup and to restore. Also, there are two tabs. One is for normal WhatsApp and other one is for WhatsApp business. So let me first show you how to do the WhatsApp transfer. Once you are connected to the computer, you will get the list of the smartphones that you can choose from the drop down. So I have selected the Android smartphone as the source and my iPhone as the destination. Here is the list of data that will be transferred. The source and the destination can be swapped if you wish to. Now there are a few important facts you should be aware of. Devices with MDM locks are not supported. So to remove any MDM locks, that is uh, the restrictions your employer or maybe your institute has imposed on your device, you can use this software called Unlock Go by i2lab. For normal user, there is nothing to do. Now, before you transfer, there are two things to do. On the iPhone, you need to turn off Find My iPhone. Here is the total instructions given. So just take your iPhone, click on your settings menu, account information, Find My, then turn off your Find My iPhone option. For Android devices, you need to enable USB debugging. Now, depending on the brand, it might be a little bit different from company to company. Most of all, you will have to find the build number in the settings menu of your Android devices and tap it seven times to enable developer options. Under developer options, you will have to turn on USB debugging. So once it's done, you are all set. So we are back to let's go and uh, make sure the destination device WhatsApp data has been backed up because it will be overwritten and you will lose the existing WhatsApp data on the destination device. Now, as I just mentioned, you can take the backup using the software itself. So let's click here and uh, select the device. 
if you are transferring to a new smartphone or you don't need it you can actually overwrite the existing data so let's start the whatsapp transfer and uh, see how it's done now from this list here you can choose what data types you can transfer or you want to transfer for example you can leave uh, video files which are quite big uh, text messages are selected by default next uh, let's click on continue and here is another step now this is very important you need to verify 64-bit end-to-end encryption if it's already on on your whatsapp software then you are good to go otherwise you need to turn it on so visit the settings menu of your whatsapp app then chats then chat backup in the chat backup window you will find this option for end-to-end -end encryption backup so if it's turned off you need to turn it on create the password and generate your 64 digital key take a note of the keys in a paper or maybe into your computer keep it safe because you will need it later to decrypt the messages don't worry this is to safeguard your personal data you have backed up into your computer so uh, once it's all done you can go back to the window and start the transfer this is going to use Google Drive so all this encryption is needed if you use backup into your computer and restore from your computer then it's much easier you know anyway if you don't want to do it like this way there is another walkaround option you can manually backup into your google drive and choose from your historical backups so from the settings menu chat chat backup you can you know backup all the data into your google drive it's gonna take some time to backup all the data so once it's done you can click on continue you can also choose from historical backups listed here with a uh, time and date so you can choose any of these and uh, then continue so ultimately transfer has started and it's going to take some time so be patient do not uh, disconnect the smartphones and don't turn off your computer you can do other things on your computer or take a break after a while you will see a window like this uh, to input your phone number to verify using the OTP now make sure you have disabled two-step verification for this phone number whatsapp account so once again visit the settings menu of your whatsapp software and then account two-step verification disable if it's disabled by default then it's okay now OTP will be received into this phone number input the six digit code so once it's done you are back to the software now you need to log in to your whatsapp account on the destination device so once you are logged in click here now it's going to take some more time so be patient and wait it will be done in time now guys let me show you how to take the backup of the whatsapp data select the device you want to backup and simply click on backup it will take the backup file into your computer save in a location and you can use it later anytime on any device using the restoration option of this software itself so it's done in few minutes and you can view the backup list here so the size of this backup is around 600 mb you can also you know encrypt this backup you can also delete it so to safeguard your data i would suggest you to put password into your backups you can also check your itunes backups from here now let me show you how to restore your whatsapp data click here and uh, you will see the list of backups you have taken before you can now select the device you want to restore into simply click restore and make sure the whatsapp version is upgraded to the latest version once again it will be overwritten so make sure you are also logged in into the destination device so this is how you use this software it's a very very efficient software definitely it takes some time but it's worth it and you need to do it just once on your new smartphone you can also browse through your itunes backups i have backups from 2018 2016 and i can backup this into my existing smartphone using let's go by itulab
Now before you purchase the software, you can try this free of cost. Let me show you the pricing. They have a monthly plan which is suitable for one time user. You can uh, use this software for just $17 and it's applicable to up to five devices. So that's cool. But uh, if you are upgrading smartphones every year, maybe you should go for the lifetime license with unlimited updates. Once again, five devices are supported. So maybe up to five years, you are safe if you upgrade every year. Now, the good news is there is a 30% coupon code here. So if you click on apply, the price goes down dramatically so lifetime plan is available for just $28 that's quite cheap you should definitely get this software the download link of this software is in the description try it first then only purchase that's all in this video i hope that it was useful thanks a lot for watching